Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 2007 Land Rover Defender 110 TDCI XS station wagon, five seater this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Finished in silver with a gloss black roof and gloss black bonnet. Um, also got a uh, full checker plate kit on it, on the bonnet, the wing tops, the modesty covers and the rear quarters. It's got full length side steps on it. Um, boost alloys with General Grabber all-terrain tyres, set of four. Being an excess, it's got the winter pack with air conditioning, heated seats, heated screens and things. It's got mud flaps all round. LED lights all round apart from the headlights. Um, indicators, side lights, reversing lights, fog lights and everything are all LED. It's got tow pack on the back of it. Um, would help if I close the driver's door properly. Apologies for that. <clears throat> but there we have it. Um, inside standard spec XS, except it's got a, uh, so it's five seats with a centre cubby box and it's got a uh, Kenwood radio CD in there, which I haven't tested, it's fair to say, but uh, all, it all seems to light up properly. Anyway, let's walk, walk around and um, pick out some good bits and some bad bits. Um, around the front end, we've got a couple of cracks in the, uh, the air conditioning, the front on a, defend, on a Defender with air conditioning, they have an extended grille, and this one's got a couple of cracks in it there, and another one there, they are only plastic, so they do tend to crack a little bit. Um, I haven't done a particularly good job of cleaning that headlights around, sort it up. Uh, bonnet looks to be in nice order, just a couple of, just where we've washed it here, a couple of watermarks. Um, front bumper looks to be in good shape, tiny bit of paint loss and rust just coming through there by the number plate. Looking down the near side, apart from a very slight parking dink in the top of the barrel side on the near side front door looks really quite straight. Um, tiny scratch just there on the modesty cover, um, modesty cover on the um, wing eyebrow but other than that near side front wing all looks okay from here. Looking underneath hopefully you can see a bit of the chassis under there on the left hand corner. Um, Scuttle corner up here. Screen itself looks to be in reasonably good order with no massive great chips in it or anything. Um, as does the roof in gloss black. Near side door, yeah, I can't see it now, but looking obliquely, there was a slight parking dink in it just around here somewhere, but I can't see it. Looks like it may have had some paint or it may just be the usual bad factory finish because it's slightly sort of um, blistery just up here. But they were never finished that brilliantly from the factory. So, um, Obviously being a TDCI it's got the later type doors which don't suffer from the rot in the bottom edges like the, uh, the earlier ones do. Um, internally, headlining is all looks alright to me. Um, near side seats the the front passenger one has got a couple of marks just down here on the um on the outer bolster which we can't seem to get off uh but there's no rips or tears in the uh, in the front faces of the bolsters dash all looks as it should this one's got um oh it has got carpet mats under this side but it has got mats over the top of it I'd generally best to take the carpets out i think in these they always get very damp um B and B post all looks as it should. Near side rear door again from the outside looks as it should. And the closing panel as well. Um, inside here, up the usual rusty area. Although I say with the later type doors they don't seem to suffer quite as badly. Down in the C post. Um, little split in the uh, the stitching just there on the near side rearmost seat, um, but otherwise all the seats look to be in reasonable shape. Near side rear wing, up here, and again let's see if we can get underneath. <clears throat> so you can see something of what it's like under there.
carrying on round. No real electrolytic reaction on the tail end by the look of it. Although it may well have had some paint, it may have had a replacement tailgate in fairness because there is quite a lot of overspray uh, on this rubber down here unless this section's been repainted. Don't know, but there is overspray on the silver overspray on the rubber there, so it may have had some uh, uh, some work just there. Um, now I think in fact, yeah, looking at the other side over here, there's also overspray on the rubber here. So don't know, I'm afraid, whether the tailgate's been replaced or or what, uh, or whether it's just had some paint around the tail end. Um, I have to say, it does look quite smart around the tail end, whereas normally at this age they can start to look a little bit scabby here and there, so it may have just uh, had a, a sort of tidy up by someone. Not us. Um, looking down the offside, it looks very, very straight down there, apart from a couple of minor parking dinks again in the barrel side on the driver's door, but very, very minor ones. Show you the near side rear wing. And up here, again, we'll go underneath it. There's that offside rear door. And the C post. That's a leaf. Oh, no, it's not. It's a bit of rubber. A bit of rubber masquerade. It's, it's some sealant down there. Um, they have. You have to seal these joints because uh, otherwise water gets in. A um, couple of marks on the. You might not be able to see it on the video because the sun's shining. A couple of marks just on the offside rear door trim there. But the outer frame is all fine there. A little bit of wear on the edge of the uh, rear seat there, probably from kids getting in and out of it. Um, offside door. What are these? I think it may have had some paint on the offside door as well, because there's a few spots just there in the paint. Again, before our time. I'd like to say a couple of minor dinks just around here. Uh, <coughs> up there and then the offside front wing a couple of sort of dirty marks here in the offside front wing that we can't, which we can't get off there 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 and there and my dirty fingernails from working another one just now sorry about that um, and then underneath here there's the offside there go back quickly to inside on the driver's side <coughs> Offside seat. Um, actually, the front seats bases are extra more trim replacements. So I'm, I'm getting the feeling that perhaps someone, maybe a last owner, has just sort of tidied this up because again, quite often the seats will have, will have had splits in them by now. Um, and it, you know, it uh, it hasn't got any of that, um, especially with the paint around the rear end. I suspect it was just looking a little bit tired, and it's been uh, been tidied up maybe. But uh, so it's only my personal opinion. Certainly has got Exmoor trim seat bases there. And looking down there, there we have it. Okay, not much more I can say about it. Any questions, give us a shout. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk, for any further info. End.